Hello, Sillaholics, and welcome back to Sillaholics Anonymous and another quick tip video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and customize gradients within your fill tool window. If this is your first time here and you have never viewed any of my videos, I do hope that you enjoyed the contents of this video and will choose to check out some of my other videos, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release new content. If you are a subscriber, thank you for the support and welcome back. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first things first, to um, access your gradients and to see the ones that are already available, if you come over to the open fill panel and the middle button or the middle icon is your gradient. There are a lot of presets already done up for uh, the gradients. I will say this, when it comes to anything that you see that it's like preset in Silhouette Studio and how you see it on your screen, most times it does not come off exactly like you see it um, um, in that gradient or on the screen. If you want to kind of see what um, colors all of those gradients produce, I do recommend that you set up a color chart and you print that out. And if you're using it for sublimation, go ahead and print it out on sublimation paper, uh, sublimate it to felt so that you can see what those true colors are. The other thing with using the gradients, unlike when you're just doing a regular fill, you can input your color code so that you ensure that you are getting the exact color that you want. With gradients, that's not possible. Um, you can choose custom colors but it's just a matter of a color picker. You can't actually uh, put in custom color codes. That is something that I do hope that Silhouette will work on in the future to allow you to do the same thing you would do with the regular fill and be able to put in your color codes. All right, so to fill something with a gradient, you're just going to take a box. I'm gonna take a box, doesn't matter what shape it is, if you're creating a shape, and you're just gonna pick a gradient and it's gonna fill in. Easy as that. Now, if you want to customize your gradient, you will hold your mouse over um, anywhere on the line as long as it's not on the ending and beginning or beginning and ending, however you look at it, colors. We're going to click on it and that's going to add another, it's gonna add another slider. This one can move. So you can pull it over to increase how much blue there is and lessen the white. We're gonna bring this back so that it kind of fades more. If you click on a different color, you can change that. You can click on here and keep changing the colors to whatever you want. There's no limitations on the number of colors that you can choose. Again, if you slide them, it just determines how sharp this line is or how blurred out it is because you're pr pulling it away and then it just has more of a natural blend. The closer that you have two colors together, um, or the more colors you have, you start to get more uh, sharp areas, especially like going along the middle, and it will fade out on the outside. So this is something that you do have to play around with to really get comfortable and understand, you know, how to mix colors, how you want them to look. There will be times where if you try to fill something with a gradient and try to customize it, it won't actually... Uh, take on the green, like the whole color will disappear and things like that. When that happens, what you want to do is create a box that's going to cover your design, whether it's something that you traced, if it's text that you typed out and you wanna crop it to it, the same way that you would do to fill something with a pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. I'm just gonna type out some text. So let's just go Silaholics. And I'm gonna go ahead and make that a font that you guys can see better. And we're going to increase that, place this here. Now, if I just place it here, I'm not gonna get all of the colors that are here. I can either extend my font and cover all of the letters and then be able to shrink it down later 
or I can shrink both of them down. But once you have it sized up to where you want it, you're just going to highlight them both. So you can drag and select, and then you're gonna come over to modify and you're gonna crop. And that's going to fill those in. Be sure to group them back together. And then you can also remove the line color because you don't need that. And now I can, you know, shrink this down to whatever size I need, like whatever project that I'm putting it on, add offsets and do, you know, other things like that. This will apply to any shape uh, that you either trace, um, that you, any SVG that you bring in, you can change the color on it and you can add a custom gradient to it. So hopefully this quick tip helped you. I um, mean, if you've never used a gradient um, feature, I would love to see what you make with it. Uh, find me over on Facebook. Join my Facebook group, Silaholics Anonymous, Silhouette Help, and drop a picture of something that you created using the gradient tool. Um, if you have any additional suggestions for quick tips or quick tutorials, do not hesitate to leave them as a comment below. My email address is in the description box. You can also email me to send me your suggestions. Don't forget to like or thumbs up this video, comment, subscribe, hit the, um, the bell, and also share this video. Until next time, guys, have a great one.